So age is similar, vast experience in favour of Sarah Pisos and the height in favour of Nikora Lee Kingi. Watch out for the knees to the body of Sarah Pisos and I'll be interested to see if his handiwork has improved under the tutelage of Shep. And that's going be on the line later tonight, the middleweight world title. Eight-man eliminator series. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's the winner of the King of the Ring South Island four-man qualifier. Representing Strike Force Canterbury. He has six wins, one loss. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Nikora Lee And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He is the undisputed reigning King of the Ring 62 kg champion. Also the WMC lightweight North Island champion. Representing the House of Pain in Hamilton. He has 24 wins, 10 losses, with five big wins coming by way of KO. Introducing Alexi Fat Sanapisos. Three threes with the Dominance referee in charge is the Rebel John Conway. Well, Monty, this must be Auckland because he wasn't much of a cheer for the reigning King of the Ring champ. Uh, bring him, guys. Well, I can tell you, last time out when we see him down in Wellington, his hometown fighting, it was electric, and it should be because this kid has got skill and ability. Stop throwing, step away from each other until I say fight. Questions? Shake him up. Best of luck, back in your corners. Third man, centre ring once again, John the Rebel Conway, former multiple kickboxing and boxing champion himself. The Tony. Both these boys in darker shorts. Sarah Pisos in the purple. All good here. Yep. And for those Come of you who are uh, colorblind, he has the ink on his chest. The King is starting off trying to establish that jab and keep Sarah Pisos off. And he's a right hand for his troubles immediately. Sarah Pisos will walk relentlessly forward. Nice doubling up of the jab and the lead leg teak there. And a heavy kick to the body. But uh, Lee King is showing he's not at all intimidated, Monty. Answering straight back, and he's uh, really using his uh, handy options well. Yeah, right. I think that the straight two that he got early on on the chin of Sarah Pisos has helped his confidence there. But also about two or three tables that are here that are obviously going for him. Plenty of vocal support for young Lee King. Well, he's certainly mixing up his combinations well. Nice work from Sarah Pisos. Crossed the kick catch and came off with the left hook. Sarah Pisos works a lot on getting inside with the knees and then going to the body, hands and knees. Missed with that left hook up high. He's not afraid of taking a few shots. And if you hit, there's a little step over right hand. Sarah Pisos, I think, momentarily rocked. Tried to cross face out of that knee. Kingy is winning this round so far and rocking him backwards going forward. Sarah Pisos, though. Very rarely faced. He eats punches and knees for breakfast. It's the classic example of uh, it's not how much you can take. There's a right hand over the top. Wobble badly. That is huge. That is huge. It's been called an eight count. If he goes down again, the fight is over. Sarah Pisos disagreed with that, but he was wobbled. Needs to keep that left hand up. I think it was a right hand. Sarah Pisos just trying to gauge his uh, gauge his uh, confidence again and just trying to find his bearings. Just starting to reach for those shots. And that right hand that caught him behind the ear has landed a few times. Lee Kingy, well, he's not just winning this round. He is dominating it. Looking for the big knee, Sarah Pisos. He now needs to win both rounds just to secure a draw. Right. Knee to the body. Switches out. Fight. Needs to get on the inside and not allow Lee Kingy the opportunity to get away. Sarah Pisos goes to the body. And there's that fake. Fake right kick overhand right again from Lee Kingy. Sarah Pisos wanting to get inside and work to his knees. 18 seconds and this is the first round. Doubling up on the right hand once again from Lee Kingy. Well, we talked about Monty with 10 seconds to go, how this was a big stage. There's another right hand that 
Sarah Pisos 8. Just trying to clear the cobwebs. The bell couldn't come at a certain time for him. Well, that was a dominant round for the underdog. Nikora Lee Kingy. And we could have something special. Look at me. We're Look on me. the verge of an upset. Well, Mike, you spoke about this man eating fish for breakfast. He might want to spit a few of them out because at the moment he's been troubled. He's been dazed by this young man, Lee Kingy. It's okay. Right? You haven't let anything go yet, bro. Right? You're walking into the pocket, into the hitting zone, not doing anything. Okay. I want you to fake a little bit more, and then we go and we do our work. Do you understand? Lend your hands. Anything, mate. All right? Something. Give me something, bro. Okay? Let, I think, mate. Well, well, he's going to come after you this round. He's going to try that left knee. All right? So drift. Drift left. Right hand, left knee. Calling him to drift left and walk him onto the right hand. There was that overhand right on the temple. And uh, it really caught him. That's the equilibrium breaker there. Good call from John the Rebel Conway. And uh, he has a long way to go. Remember, King in the Ring Five. rules, Monty. We're underway in round two. You cannot get a second eight count. The fight will be stopped. Wow. Well, the question now is can he last it? Because the pressure that Sarah Peace is going to bring and being relentless coming forward the whole time may be the undoing of Lee King. But at the moment, doesn't look tight, doesn't look phased. And he's coming back with plenty of firepower. Well, he, ne he just needs to win one more round, then he can run around on his bike for the other round. That one went a little bit south of the border there. And uh, Ethan Shep was right. Sarah Pisos is just walking into the pocket. He's not buying his way in. There's no fakes. He's trying to soak up too much, and uh, that overhand right is landing from Kingy, and clearly is a man who has some power. And he's still looking to land that. I'd suggest Sarah Pisos drift to his right a little bit more, as we saw that just then. Limit shot there from Sarah Pisos. Kingy... Just showing that he hasn't been hurt. Now, this is the game of Sarah Pisos to wear you down. Kingy is there, actually, for an overhand right. If Sarah Pisos sees it, the way he's drifting to his left there. And that was, he's following the instruction of his corner. Moving away from the left leg of Sarah Pisos. But you've got to be careful you don't double the impact of a right hand. Yeah, not so sure. Sarah Pisos has got full use of his legs back just right now. I think he's struggling with a bit of his lateral movement. It's not as crisp as we have seen from this young man, but still, he only knows one way, and that's forward. Right. Relentless, and I think that's the pressure right. that Lee King's going to struggle with. The left knee to the body Five. there from Sarah Pisos. That's his coup de grace Six. shot. Seven. Now, this bout has become even Stevens once again. Sarah Pisos working the body, goes downstairs to the left, rip to the river. Lee King now coming back, and that was the shot there that... Wayne Vahinga warned him about. There's another one there, and he saw the elbow drop. He is hurting now. Lee Kingy in trouble. Tries to answer back with a double-fisted volley of his own. Sierra Pisos still needs to be careful. The left kick coming to the liver again. Really working now. Digs left hand to the body from a southpaw stance. And let's see if Sierra Pisos comes with the knee again. There it goes. Really starting to pressure up. Just about even now. Triple, tripling up of the shots to the body. That right hand's still dangerous from Lee Kingy, but Sarah Pisos has taken a lot of the wins out of his sails. Just be nice to see him come upstairs with an uppercut, Monty, off those body shots. Oh, great to see. Not only is he adept, Sarah Pisos, with a range of attacks and great ability and strategic maneuvers, but the heart and character of this man to walk forward, even under stress and also mental fatigue. It's been great to watch. Lee Kingy there, he was trying to wind up with his shots to the body. Well, this is a young man what? who has plenty what? of ability. Sarah Pisos moving with the right knee to the head. There's a right uppercut that landed. Lee Kingy's shots are getting wide up. Well. Even Stevens heading into the third and final. A 10-8 round apiece. If someone has dropped for an eight count, that means Please the count. fight is over. You are only allowed one eight count around. Let's head into the corner. Beautiful now. All right, now we've got his weak spot, okay? All right, we're not going to go there straight away. Yeah. Do you understand? All right, you're going to set it up. Set it up first, bro, okay? You've got to go the punches first, yeah. all right? And then rip it downstairs. Last three minutes. You can do it. You can do it. It's last three minutes. Right. Well, Keep if Nakora Lee Kingy wasn't listening last time to Van Vyang, he'll be listening now because he came out and he said, watch the left knee. There it was. It was a beautiful twist left knee right into the floating ribs there. 
He switched around and just caught him with the elbow up right into the midsection. And that's the beauty of Thai boxing. Weapons can come from anywhere. Lee King has been called to straighten up his punches rather than well. And Sarah Pisos in the purple coming out of the red corner. Lee King in the black out of the blue. And his punches are immediately straight up. This round is even Stevens. It's the second quarterfinal. King of the ring lightweight. Lee King just seven fights under his belt. He's showing he has a talent to watch out for. Mixing up his shots well. And there we saw it. Sarah Pisos. He listened to his corner too, didn't go straight downstairs to the body, he set it up. Nice little hand trap there, pulled away the left guard. Lee Kingy though, sealing the point straight back. Everything's still very much on the line. Third and final. Well, that was the left hand punch, allowed to go on a little long, little step up knee there, and another one from Lee Kingy. He's finding that's a useful way to stop Sarah Pisos from coming in, that step up knee, and there we saw another one, Monty. These men, little is touch, but definitely not in heart. These guys are ferocious in terms of what they take and come back and give more with interest, Mike. Great to watch, a great contest in the 62 kg division. Sarah Pisos starting to come on now. There was that left body rip, goes with the left knee again. Lee Kingy, the wind starting to once again go out of his stales, the sting out of his shots. Sarah Pisos just relentlessly walks forward. He sucks the soul out of you. Lee Kingy just ducked down, head dangerously low. I'd like to see Sarah Pisos just use those kicks a little bit more as well, just to vary up his attack. Halfway through the third and final round, we've already seen one extension. Be interesting to see if we'll see another. Sarah Pisos going for his trademark left rip to the body, left knee. Sarah Pisos starting to walk him down now. Not a lot of pepper on those shots. And there's that rip from Sarah Pisos and another one. Yeah, I'd like to see him throw a high left kick to the head. He's dropping him badly. He's buckled him. But that right hand is down. Let's see if he goes high. Good bravery from Lee Kingy. Another kick to the body there. That one hurt him. Another knee which hurt him. Hands are down. Well, I would have taken the uh, full second. 34 seconds to go on third and final. There's another knee to the body. And that has broken him. Lee Kingy, that's the second eight count. I'm pretty sure that should be stopped if it's a seven eight count. Well, we've continued. We'll get clarification on the rules later. 12 seconds to go in this bout. Sarah Pisos coming on strong. Lee Kingy, it's a, been a brave performance against a very experienced fighter. And we will see him back. And there's another one. Well, the end of the round is heralded. There's no doubt who the winner will be. Alexei Fett, Sarah Pisos. Eight count in that final round. His second of the fight. But he had deep trouble. He showed a lot of courage to come back from that huge right hand to the temple. The second round, he landed that left knee, and he was relentless in the third after a bright start from Nakora Lee Kingy. And again, he went to that left knee and cut the South Islander in half. But the question remains, how much of a toll was taken out of him by that three-round bout as we await the judges taking care of the formalities. All right, fight us in the center ring, please. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision where we find a unanimous decision winner. Your winner fighting out of the red corner, Alexi Sarapisos.